I made 17 pounds of pork belly into chicharron very recently. And then my, my niece's husband ate it all. It left me high and dry. This is a 10 pound pork belly. Look at all that sweet meat on there. So I'm gonna make another batch. It's really very simple to make. And most of the time you're just sitting around while it cooks on the stove. Very little prep. This is that very corner of the pork belly and it's much thicker than the rest. Now I could easily cut it up and put it in there with the rest of it. Look how much I got out of here. Good Lord. I'm going to slice this into these little pieces and cook it. And eat it just like that. A few years ago, the World Health Organization announced that they were adding cured meats to the list of carcinogens. Now, when you read the fine print, the percentage to which it increases your odds of getting cancer are very low, like a tiny fraction of what happens if you smoke. However, I eat a lot of bacon. I loves me some bacon. So, maybe eating this bacon, and because that's what it is, that hasn't been smoked, which means it's not bacon, will save my life. Maybe I'll live a week longer. We won't know right away. Now that little piece of meat turned into all of this. Good Lord. I'm making a press for my chicharron. I went to the store to get a bucket, like a little sand bucket, children's sand bucket for the beach and they, they were out of season. So this is actually the bucket that my pure lard came in, my Monteca. It's a four pound bucket. And instead of throwing it away, this is gonna make an excellent press. I'm just poking holes in the top with a hammer and a nail. And I'll, I'll poke a few around here. I don't need a lot. Most of, the, most of the squeezing squirts the oil out of the bottom. You can use a drill bit for this, but I didn't want to go outside. It's very cold and I didn't want to go out to the shed. This was readily available in my kitchen. Hammer and nails. I have finished cooking the 10 pound pork belly and it has rendered for me 7.44 pounds of chicharron. Now I have to put it in the press, make it into little round discs for storage. Whenever I'm hungry, I'll cook some of it. This has to be cooked, just like you smoke bacon. This has to be cooked until it's nice and crunchy. And then it is so good to eat. This is my makeshift press. I've never used it. This is all experimental. I want it to be about an inch and a half thick when I'm done pressing it. So I think two inches or two and a quarter inches. And I almost have that is exactly what I need. And you let it cool, you put it in the fridge and it gets real nice. And that's gonna flatten that out. And this used to have CDs on it. Remember that guys, CDs? Oh, that's just the perfect amount. That's exactly what I want there. Yeah, I really squeezed the juice out of it. This turned out really good. I'm so happy. These turned out just beautiful. I have one, two, three, four, five of them. They're cooling off. I'll wrap them up. I'll put them in the freezer. And this will provide a whole bunch of really good meals. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, tacos, taquitos, burritos. They'll go in an omelet. Cook it and make it nice and crispy like you would your bacon. 
and it gets rid of a lot of these little bits of fat, just like you have on your bacon, you cook that all away. And then what you're left with is a delicious pork dish.